a present for Blue Belly for reading us our favorite story at story time. Your favorite story? <gasps> favorite story? Wait, which is your favorite story? Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The Berry Sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. <sighs> I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well, I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berry Kids? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I... Wait, I, I know this, I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Red Berry Riding Hood. Um, Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't... Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the Baby Berrykins have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do hmm. a search. Hmm. hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! Oh, this is I'm gonna so be great. excited, Huck! I know just the berry fairy tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you're best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Respelina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness. Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Ugh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Oh, la la, Berries! I've never heard such nonsense! Ooh. Well oh, done! You did! Oh, so oh. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Rasbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. Uh, you are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. <sighs> and so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, Asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. <laughs> huh? Who, who are you? What? Yeah. Uh. Well, which 
you waiting for? Have you decided to give the kingdom to me or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever. Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good afternoon, your majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberrita. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet. Yes, that's right. She sure does. <gasps> now, princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time. Give me that crown. <gasps> Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? Uh, well, I never... Better get started. A it's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> you! That's right, you! <coughs> Step lively, you're coming with me! Y yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything you say, your your high royalness, royal highness. You there. Let's get going. Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal goldenberry, but you might not want me because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Little Asparagin, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their barricade in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barrican Bloom. Ah, uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> oh. Hey! What's the big idea? Well now, you see, a uh, toll. Please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll mm -hmm. troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Mm, no lie. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner. The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... <gasps> Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Brian, please your berries! Oh, boy, that berry thing! Not another one. Oh my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagin. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. 
Well, that's more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. Presently, Princess Strawberryta and the littlest berrykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest berrykin happened to notice a boat berrykin, who will be played by Princess Berrykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest berrykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. <sighs> huh? Huh? Ahoy! Huh? I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why, no, me lasses. Just taking a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Dude, Myrtle Berries, how are we supposed to get across this lake? Let's order that scroungy old captain to take us. Good idea. I had that idea too. I just didn't say it as fast as you. Hmm. Ahoy, me hearties. Ahoy, your highnesses, don't you mean? Highness or lowness making a difference to me. I've just had a lunch when I make a salty sea captain do a hornpipe on a yardarm. Arr! So, have you brought me dinner? Dinner? My daddy the king will feed you to the fishes if you don't take us across this lake in your boat, if you can call that a boat, at once. Oh, <gasps> shiver me timbers! Belay that tuck! be in your long clothes dressing me about. We are royal princesses. Get a move on! What be ye doing in me vessel, you rapscallion? Did I give you permission to come aboard? Arr! What kind of rig you trying to run? And you don't even offer me any grub, like that charming lass what set sail to yon far shore afore ye. Arr! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, did you hear that, Rasbolina? Strawberryta was here ahead of us. Mm, sour berries. If you took her across, you simply have to take us. Arg! What care I if ye be marooned? I'm tardy for a game of darts at the jib and topsail. Gangway, ye horn swabbers! Wait! Come back! Now what? You two clowns, get in here and row us across. Uh, but that's stealing. That boat doesn't belong to us. We are princesses. Everything belongs to us. Now get in. Huh? Uh -uh. Move over. I want to sit in front. Oh, there's no room for you. It's the royal goldenberry. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. These poor plants, they need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Before Strawberryta. Well, go up there and get it for me. For you? You mean for me? Oh, 
Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <gasps> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade of waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! As was I. The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice, and that was... The littlest barricade. <sighs> this royal goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Goldenberry Fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, we have been bears. royally spoiled! Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, 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 I, oh I can help you with oh, 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 Thank you, my beloved royal subjects. My first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And 
So, the littlest fairykin proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberita, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now! I said no such thing! That was your idea! It wasn't! I'm hungry! It was! This is your fault and your fault only! Well, what do you think? I think it's amazing! A skirt that's a video screen? Congratulations, Raspberry! What a brilliant invention! Thanks, Strawberry. Apple, can we jump online? Berry in the Know is almost over. It's the Fashion Talk webcast we're doing this fashion show for. Oh. Mavis Maraschino here, thanking you for keeping your peepers glued to this episode of Berry in the Know, the Berry Bitty Fashion World's go to show to know what's nouveau, you know? <laughs> Don't forget our technology and fashion contest taking place tomorrow. <gasps> We have some spectacularly intriguing entries coming in from all over the Berry Bitty world. But the entry that's really frilling my frock is from Berry Bitty City and those fabulous fashionistas Lemon Meringue and Ra Ra Raspberry Tort. Don't forget to be ready to text in your votes for your favorite techno fashion. Until then, Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? When the Berry Bitty world sees Strawberry walk down the runway wearing my screen skirt and Lemon's mood nails, we'll absolutely, positively get the most votes! Lemon, your mood nails turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking... Raspberry screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful! I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but... Well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as, like, a hairstyle or... <gasps> ah! That's it! Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moodies! Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try. And I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Juice cables. <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No, it's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way. And the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold! Moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet! Maybe... maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure of... a way! Uh, we gotta model at least four different tops with a screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. Because you're always wanting us to Here be... Here comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What? We? You dragged me here. Huh. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry'd still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. 
I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Oh, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls, only one of you will be on stage at a time. We have so much to do by tomorrow. Please, there's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans, you can't have just one. Come on, Sour, it'll be fun. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow, it really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> is, um... Something wrong, Sour? Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh, uh, I just ran out this morning. Great. Well, I guess we can just forget about baking at the cafe this week. No pancakes, no pies, no muffins, no bread. Sour? Well, let's see. What if we try almond flour or coconut flour? Might be fun to improvise. No waffles, no puff pastries, no cake, and you can kiss cookies goodbye. Do you think this is funny? Ooh, what's this? My sweet sister? Angry? Uh, I'm not angry. Why would you say that? Because your hair is steaming. <gasps> this is so great. Oh, uh, golly. That's probably just static or... I don't know. <laughs> Aw, your hair is blushing. That's awesome! Your hair is doing a joy dance. You must be very happy. Happy? I am not. Uh, I was just seeing what the hair is doing. And Lemon told me these do's don't lie. I, I've never told a lie in my life. That's just so... Wrong. As if. Gee, don't get your hair in a tangle. Quick, the door. <laughs> Good move, Orange. I'm so glad those things are locked in there. <gasps> did I or didn't I? Did you or didn't you what? Close the back window this morning? <gasps> I didn't. Raspberry, are you here? Two 
runaway hair extensions? With attitudes. Those twins are never on time. Hello? Oh, hi, Strawberry. You're where? They what? <laughs> Are they wearing hats from my new puppy fashion? No one's supposed to see those until I release my spring line. <sighs> Did you have to make them so... so... moody? I didn't realize how much out-of-control emotion those twins had roaring around inside them. Must have blown their circuits. Oh, Yoo-hoo! Oh, cutie moodies! <laughs> That's right. It's me. Come to Mama. <laughs> you sure love their mama. <gasps> Get him! Over here! Watch out! There's one! Uh, I got one! Oh. Oh, no. Hey, check it! Hair bait. the moose in the world could get those things to behave. Well, I'm not modeling with some wigged-out wiglet on my head. Lemon, we'll do anything to help you with the show. Go ahead and make a fool of yourselves in front of all the Berry Bitty world, but you can count me out. Sour? Don't you think you're sounding just a little bit, um... Selfish? Yes. No. Raspberry, you better go ahead without me and just do the show with your skirt. I'm not doing the fashion show without you. We're a team, Lemon. Thanks, Raspberry. Huh. I really thought I had something with my original vision. What was that? A hair cam that displays on Raspberry's skirt. But I couldn't hide the cameras and cables well enough. Cool. You know, I bet you I could hide cameras in these barrettes. You could? And I think I could make them wireless. No cables to mess with. You could? But now it really is last minute. I don't know if we can do it. I thought I could run the cafe. I failed. I thought I could make moody hair. Failure. Lemon, just do your best. I don't wear glasses. Yes, but it's important that the audience thinks you and Sweet are the same model. That's the problem. I don't want to be the same as her. <sighs> but Sour, you agreed. I didn't. You twisted my arm. Okay, guys, everything's ready with the Berry Web hookup. When this light goes red, the webcams will be live. And you're on. Every Berry in the No Fan in the Berry Bitty world will be streaming your fashion show. Thanks, Apple. Great job. Are you done with me yet? Uh -huh. and, and yes. Uh uh uh. <sighs> Lemon, you're a genius. Sour, you look gorgeous. You're just saying that because now I look like you. Oh, Sour, I'm sorry, but please, can't you try and be a good sport? Hi, Sweet! Whoa, you look terrific! I am not Sweet! Uh, that is, I am not responsible. It's all due to Lemon's genius and yours, Apple. Look at all this. How does this work? This will show what's airing on Barry in the Know, and this shows what our webcams on stage are filming live. Whatever. I mean, amazing. You're so talented. And when the light turns and red... Never mind that. Uh, how is it all... 
uh, plugged in. Well, the Sparkleberry Juice power cables are connected Ethel, to the... Ethel, can you help me with this light stand? Sure. Excuse me. Power cable. Power cable. <laughs> That'll do, Apple. Thanks. Anytime. Ah, it's down. Why is it down? Uh, hmm. I must have crashed the system with those brat cams. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Apple, we're ready to go in ten. Yeah, no worries. Phew! Five minutes to airtime, everybody! Five minutes! Mavis Maraschino here. Hello, fans. Are you Barry in the know? Well, we're about to find out when we begin our first fashion show contest. Merciful Madras, the submission from Berry Betty City is broadcasting early. <laughs> they weren't supposed to start for another few minutes, but, uh, ooh, it looks like something interesting is going on there. Oh, <laughs> the latex can wait. We take you live to Berry Bitty City. Lemon! Lemon, where are you? Five minutes! We've got to get the barrette cameras in the twins' hair! Uh, I can't find the models! What? They must be over there! Why did you say I twisted your arm? It's so clear now! This was all you're planning to get us to look exactly the same. Of all the underhanded... But you know this fashion show wasn't my idea. I don't know that. You actually believe we all plotted behind your back? Anything's possible. It's only for the show anyway. It's not like you have to look like me forever. Hello? We're twins? Places, people! Three minutes to airtime! <laughs> what is it? They're loose! Who's loose? <laughs> Strawberry, you identity saboteur! Helping Sweet eradicate any last bit of individuality I have! She... never... There you are! Quick! We're live in two! More like in one! First in poison berries! Get those barrette cams in their hair! Where'd they go? Hey! Your hair looks better than mine! I'm not setting a foot on that catwalk until I look as good. But your hair looks good, too. Does not. Does, too. Hey, Apple, is that light supposed to be on? What light? That red one. <gasps> ah! We're on! Unplug! Unplug! <laughs> they've... they've been seeing us! See... seeing us? Who? Everybody! We've been on live all this time! not your fault, Apple. It's mine. What do you mean, Sour? I fooled around with Apple's computer stuff. I was trying to... Well, pull the plug on the whole show. And seeing the playback of how awful I treated my sister, I never knew how... how awful I was. You're leaving? You'll be better off without me. 
Sweet will stay and help you in the cafe. Don't count on it. Sweet? What are you... You didn't do anything wrong. You never do. You're my sister. I stick with you no matter what. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. Everywhere we go, I wear out our welcome. You can't leave! I've been all over, and I promise, this place is the best. You'll see. This is the kind of place where you can wear out your welcome and still be welcome. Because you're loved. That's right. Please don't go. Really? You'll forgive me? Us. Us. We'll both try and get along better. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Here goes. Bouncy Myrtleberries! <laughs> I can't believe this! Mm, that bad, huh? No! No, listen! Congratulations to Berry Bitty City for winning Berry in the Nose Fashion Contest! What? <laughs> How inventive and avant-garde of you to enter a comedy fashion show! <laughs> Your admirer, Mavis Maraschino. We won? <laughs> so, Lemon, I forgot to ask. <laughs> what did you end up doing with those hair thingies? The Moody's? They disappeared. Thank goodness we've seen the last of them. <laughs> well, Sweet Sour, that was a fantastic adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the Berry Bitty Great Race for my Berry Best Bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth. <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough she's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> Ah, the thrill of the race.
place. The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What? Well, Teach Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was, Evil doings were afoot. Broccoli! No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles! Pure g... Uh, just really smart! Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe! <laughs> of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnibbles come back? They did indeed. 
because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Tea time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. We were doomed until all of a sudden I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big. Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin', and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D-sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, 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 My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut. So I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, oh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. You can't do that! It's not fair! <laughs> fair schmear! <laughs> See if I care! <laughs> she did it! Wait! Look! Hold on, tea time! 
quick, tea time! Drop the ballast! Well, there was no getting around it. We were gonna crash. There was nothing left to drop overboard to lighten the load. Nothing left but me. Disaster, only to discover we were lost in the mountain wilderness. And then... Look, Tea Time! The St. Bernard Rescue Dog here to save us! He led us to a tropical fruit stand on the mountain. A tropical fruit stand <laughs> on a mountain? Is this not getting just a bit ridiculous? May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, please. yes please. Please. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, Fre Fern. Uh, I'm Apple Dumplin', and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, ha! Looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, Tea Time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> oh. Hey, why? That's. That's. Stealing! Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. Hey, that's stealing too. That's right. One bad. do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumplin'? 
for winning the race and, most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you first prize. What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow. Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp out <laughs> tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No. But, um, what about your video project? Ah, uh, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great. Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert. All right, folks, this is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Now, everybody, look lively, look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it. Together, all of us. We are gonna need some extra hands on this one. All righty now, folks. On the count of three. One. Hey! season of the year. Okay, now, let's make this whole place sparkle. Some very cold weather. 
another movie, man. Here, let me help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is! It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help! It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Here they come! Hi, Strawberry! Hi, Strawberry! Glad you could make it. Oh, thanks for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this, Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, Everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, <gasps> and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first Glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving Glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. 
I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> but not good enough, not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's gotta be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love this! Oh, oh that's yeah. awesome. oh, Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. 
Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the glimmerberry gathering unless everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day, and I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying, but it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, I did it. Copy. Girls, who's copying? Oh, girls, we're talking about copying. One accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, 
Oh, my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it! Do it. Come, Let's on. Do it. Come on! Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second! Give me, give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you!
What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh-oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh, no! Oh, well. Oh. I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the Berry Works. Hmm. <laughs> wow! What's that? Incredible! Amazing! Pretty! Ah, uh, strawberry! Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh. <sighs> Him. Sparkles are the best. Hi! <laughs> Hi. But I thought your berry sparkles only worked on berries. His sparkles work on everything. We've never seen anything like it. Like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? <laughs> hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. That is, if we can catch him, I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell, ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! yeah! I 
think it should be blueberry blue. Oh, you are so wrong. Orange is prettier. Lemon yellow. That's my favorite. Plum purple. Raspberry blue. Orange. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Strawberry! Ooh, pretty. Nice. I like it. Hello there, baby berrykin. My name is Strawberry Shortcake, and strawberry is my favorite color. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> strawberry, come play! Strawberry, come play! Adorable! <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like fun, but don't you think we should ask the princess if it's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. Huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Take care, Strawberry! You're very, very welcome. world. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. <laughs> Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? bottle. Wait, it is baby oil, but the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Uh oh! <laughs> Better catch him! <laughs> Mr. Longface, you've just about won. <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Oh, oh here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> This is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. Oh, oh. oh you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. 
but the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Berrykin? Yes, Strawberry? You need to ask before you make things change colors. Why? <laughs> Ick! That really clashes. Well, for example, what do you think of this color hat with my outfit? Pretty! <laughs> oh dear, he'll never have a future in fashion design. Oh. How do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is! It was him! Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it! Your miniature golf course! Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> but, but, but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last uh, ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, Baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp, through the windmill. Like... Yes! Oh, yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh! Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Whatever will I do? Listen up, Blueberry! I can't play anymore. Why? Because it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no! It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> My turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin, but we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play Mega! Please, Strawberry! Well, the 
only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know, I know. I can take out Barry's bottles and I can put them back, Strawberry. Promise. Really? Oh, that's great. Keep playing. Yeah, you did it! Oh, yeah! oh, brilliant! Very good! Yeah! <laughs> Say, can you help us? You did such a good job taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? You see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! <laughs> She's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh, no? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh, okay. Pretty! Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Barrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. It was a 
dark and not so stormy night. Everything was quiet in the sleepy little town. No one knew it then, but strange things were about to happen. The Case of the Missing Friend. I started reading it the second it came in, and I can't put it down. Uh, uh, it's just a, a bit past my bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry, Bosley, but just listen to this chapter. The dark and not-so-stormy night was followed by a bright and not-at-all stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. Oh, good, my goodness me! How could it? It couldn't! But it is! How peculiar! What a mystery! Raspberry! Blueberry! Orange Blossom! It's time to get going! It's a very beautiful day for a swim! We don't want to miss a minute! What are we fighting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come in, come in! section. Then again, I could put some under bestseller, because I know they'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty Persimmon Mysteries now. It's all I read. Uh. Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but... You love all sorts of books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well... You did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. 
there's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today, I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. Strawberry! Raspberry! Come quick, come see! Berry can bloom! What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one? I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can, can you do anything? Hmm. Well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well... Guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, go. Check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. Wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like, <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself. Why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence. We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you gonna join us for the hike? You might wanna change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't wanna hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> you mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platys Spotus, and it's spreading! Oh, indeed it is. My extra special vitamin-enriched plant food didn't work. Does that mean 
all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close, so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. This might work. <laughs> Break and Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there. I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer. In one of your books? No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> Blueberry? Uh -huh. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And you're a criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. We didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty 
persimmon. Yeah, I think I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what I was thinking of was... There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there, what's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person, they haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more. Your missing person is as good as found. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Way to go! Right. It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! The bad spot us has spread to everything. That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse. And watch this, it gets worse! <laughs> Your glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there, page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. 
Oh, I hope this works. Give it a second. I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> 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 